Gareth Hughes. Uh, kia ora, Mr. Speaker. Na mihi nui kia koutou. Kia ora. I think possibly one of the most charitable things you can say about the budget we're debating is it wasn't a budget for New Zealand. It wasn't a budget for the nation. It was a budget for the National Party. Now, after previous budgets where they sold off the assets, delivered tax cuts for the rich, achieved record levels of debt, engineered a national housing crisis, they come up with this. Well, the minister sits there, the minister who's not responsible for building houses because the houses aren't being built. The minister who has engineered, acted like the architect of house prices now 11 times wages in Auckland, a minister who's seen houses inflate by $100,000 a year. Look, all the facts are clearly there. National has been the architect of the housing crisis. And look, the Minister Nick Smith, who's trying to debate with me across the chamber, is the person who's the most responsible in the country, but he's the minister who is prepared to blame everyone else. Because first, it was a problem of success, right? That there were so many, um, so much interest in housing. It was a problem of success. When everyone stopped laughing, the minister moved on to his next excuse, which was that it's a question of other people's responsibility. It wasn't the minister's responsibility. It was the Labour Party's responsibility. It was the Green Party's responsibility. It was the council's responsibility. Everyone else except Nick Smith. But I'm getting distracted because this budget was all about exactly what this government does when it comes to housing. Picks up something, uh, something shallow, something superficial, something to get a newspaper headline. It's not the actual substance. Now, when you look at housing, the accommodation supplement changes are an admission of failure, an admission that house prices have increased too much, that it's uh, simply now unaffordable for too many, and a whole generation is locked out of home ownership. Now, this was a, a government who only two years ago rejected this exact measure, but when it was time to get a media headline, that's when they went for it. It's the same with the, the, the tax changes. After eight years of short-changing public services, of scrimping, in election year, they come out with these changes. It's kind of like the school bully who takes your school lunch money every day, but the day when he's running for class president, that's when he's prepared to give a little bit back. Now, Mr Speaker, this has to be one of the most political budgets in modern New Zealand history. A budget designed for political headlines. This from a government who's, look, I take my hat off to them. They're good at politics. They're good at the spin. They're good at getting on the John Oliver show. They're good at starting a public conversation. The problem is, though, it's not a public conversation on the important issues, like climate change, as Kennedy Graham said. It's not about the record debt levels. It's not about the systemic problems that have seen our economic performance decline over time. No, the public conversations we see under this government is spaghetti on pizza. It's do we run or walk up and down hills. It's these types of conversations. Now, Mr Speaker, in four months' time, we could see a very different budget being drafted, a budget that's not going to focus on just the headlines and the politics, that's going to focus on the leadership and the substance, a budget which is going to start building houses to end the housing crisis, a budget which is going to clean up rivers. Now, Nick Smith's interjecting again, the minister responsible for our dirty and unswimmable rivers. In four months' time, we're going to see work started on a budget to clean up and deliver swimmable rivers in New Zealand. A budget that's going to look after our families and support our kids, that's going to lift people out of poverty, that's not going to see people sleeping in their cars and on the street and in rough conditions. A budget which is going to manage the economy and focus on innovation, because this was the missing piece of the budget. A focus on headlines, on political points, but not a focus on the future not a focus on embracing our strengths in New Zealand, which is investing in innovation. A government that continues to throw money at last century's economy, like dirty fossil fuels and coal mines. A government that could be investing in clean energy, IT, education, innovation. I can't wait to start work on that budget in four months' time. Mr Speaker. Clayton Mitchell. Thank you, Mr Speaker. I rise on behalf of